Every day, we see new technologies, new machine, new materials, and new solution. And we celebrate new innovation. But sometimes I ask myself, are we so focused to making something new and we forget to look around? So what if the answer is already here? This question changed how we see the innovation. Our stories are started in Norway, Oslo. Here, food waste is used to produce the biogas, which powers public buses. And let's fly to drink in Switzerland. All concrete is crashed and reused for new buildings in construction. And how about South Korea? Companies are working to extract metals from waste products. You can have copper, gold, and palladium from old smartphones, laptops, and other electric devices. All this lightens us with the idea that trash can change into the valuable resources. This is our starting point, and we focus on clothing. Have you heard about fast fashion? Fast fashion means producing a clothes quickly and cheaply to follow the latest trends. Brands like Zara and H&M make the clothes with cheap price in large amount. So people buy these clothes and wear them shortly and throw them away quickly and buy new ones again. Then this creates a massive waste. This picture shows the mountain of clothes in Chile. Surprising, isn't it? Yes! Now we started to ask a question. How can we reuse the clothes we've already drawn away? To solve this problem, we made use of the concept of biochar. Biochar means bio charcoal, in other words, organic charcoal. And it works like filter. So we can call it organic filter. Accordingly, any organic fabric can turn into a biochar and we decide to change the waste clothes into a biochar. I will show you how we did it. To make them into biochar, we should heat them up high degrees and carbonize them. Is it right? Never. We face the biggest challenge. No one has ever tested this process before, even ChatGPT, to changing fabric into biochar. We should convince ourselves this could be the right way, and we did it. We began collecting different textile waste, cotton, wool, and, and polyester. We studied their properties, their traits, and their features, and we tested how well they could be carbonized. It wasn't easy. Sometimes the material wasn't carbonized properly. Even worse, we had a big fire. We had to adjust the temperature, pressure, and timing precise, precisely again and again. In the end, we created fiber-based fiber biochar. Yay! Yeah. 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 But this is, not, this is not the end. We have another question. Where can we use the biochar we created and what kind of performance will it show? So we designed a series of experiments to test uh, three things. First, could it remove toxic dyes from dye waste water? Second, could it capture carbon dioxide or major greenhouse gas? Third, could it absorb heavy metals like lead and cadmium from polluted water? The result surprised us. Our waste fiber biochar was not only usable, it was exceptional. Especially with biochar with its natural polar structure performed better than commercial wood biochar. We had turned trash into a powerful tool for cleaning polluted water and air. But this journey wasn't just about scientific research. It was about shifting our mindset. 
True innovation doesn't always mean creating something new. Sometimes it means seeing new value in what we already have. So let's look around and find what needs innovation. There could be something that can be meaningful. It's time to start to ask if the answer is already here. Thank you.